Hey guys, it is Saturday and Jeff and I have, we got up early today and we have been all over the place. We went to some thrift stores, yard sales, and Walmart. We did not get anything at any yard sales, but we did get some stuff from thrift store and Walmart and I'll show you the thrift store stuff after I show you the Walmart stuff. Oh, and we also went by Red Wing Shoes because Jeff needed some more work boots. So, um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we got. Okay, so Jeff is going to be starting a new shift, and um, I'm going to be making him breakfast in the mornings. So I took a shortcut this time. I went ahead and, well, I don't know if he'll want the hash browns or not, but we just needed some of those because we're out of them. And they used to have a bigger pack at Walmart, but they don't seem to have that anymore. So we got those, and we got this kind as well. But this is where I took the shortcut. I just got already made frozen buttermilk biscuits and I got some more of this. We still have one pack but I wanted to get another one just to make sure. And then we got some sliced cheddar and then this uh, deluxe American cheese as well. Which this is not just for that. If he wants cheese on it he can have it but he usually does not put cheese. We also got this. We're going to have salads for supper and I'm not going to be sharing anything except the hauls with y'all today because it's we, we've just been going all day and I want to just kind of relax and not do anything else so we're just gonna have salads for supper and we bought this fajita chicken breast to have with that we got two gallons of milk a 25 pound bag of sugar we got some garden salsa sun chips some harvest cheddar sun chips and some regular wavy potato chips we got a I don't the 60 eggs I don't know how many dozen because I'm not good at that. Alright, then we got two things of wheat bread, one tropical punch body, body armor. When's the last time I bought body armor for me, Jeff? Do you remember? Okay, this is what I get. It's been a while since I bought it. Two things of fruit punch for Jeff, some bananas, a thing of cook and serve jello vanilla. I was gonna make banana pudding but I didn't get any wafers. We got some fishing line because we got new reels, rods and reels, but we haven't put them together yet. We got them a long time back. The reels, I don't know how long we had, have had those. I think I shared them in a haul, but we got them on clearance. So, anyways, got that. Got some Honey Nut Cheerios and some Apple Jacks because for some reason I was craving Apple Jacks last night. Don't ask me why. And then we got this tomato and vegetable garden, um fertilizer because we need a fertilizer that's not what we normally get but that's just what we got so that's everything we got from Walmart and then these are Jeff's new boots they're uh, Irish setter by Red Wing boots he's he got these the last time and his job gives him a hundred dollars to get boots so these were like less than half price for these so he got them for like a hundred dollars is what we spent after tax not quite a hundred so he got two hundred dollar boots for a hundred bucks and um so they're still toe and that's what he has to have for work and they're comfortable and they don't slip and all that stuff so that's what he got so i'm going to put the cold stuff away and then i'm going to come back with the thrift store haul okay yes that's a lot of books um I went looking for some more of the Janet Oak or Janet uh, Janet Janet Oakey. I don't know how you say her name. Anyway, I went looking for some more of her books. Couldn't find any of them. But I always I, w I was also looking for Louis L'Amour. Jeff's granny called her Granny Grunt. She got me to reading his books years ago, and for whatever reason, I didn't read them anymore. I don't know. Maybe I just couldn't find them. Maybe I got too busy with kids. I don't know why. And I don't even know what happened to the ones that I had. I think I probably purged them sometime whenever I was um, going through my books. Well, I had thought about getting some again, and then Amy was talking about how that Cam reads them. So I was like, you know, I'm going to start looking for them because I really liked his writing. So I did buy quite a few of them. But I'm going to first start over here. This book was a dollar. All of them were a dollar. Every book I got. It was either 99 cent or a dollar. So just round it up. So anyways, nothing was over a dollar 50 cent. That was this that was a dollar 50. But I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, this is another Heloise book. All new hints from Heloise. Household Guide for the 90s. 
I know it's going to be outdated, but you know what? It's going to be funny. It's going to be fun, and it might be outdated, but it'll be something I can look at and, you know, think, oh my goodness, that's what people did in the 90s. I was in the 90s. As you know, I had my own home in the 90s, so I did some of these things, I'm sure. But anyways, or at least I should have, probably. Anyway, I'm going to go over the other books. This one right here, I want to just talk about the, this one, too, because it's not a Louis L'Amour one. This is one I've been wanting forever, and I could not find it anywhere. It's in pretty rough shape, but whenever I was flipping through it, there's, like, handwritten recipes in here. There's, like, a couple of them. It is very used, very used. I don't even know what this recipe is. I can't even tell what's on the back. But, oh, it's chili. Okay. Anyways, it's a Fanny Farmer cookbook. I've been looking for it forever. It was a 99, no, it was a dollar. And so I went ahead and grabbed that. All right, so these are all the Louis L'Amour. Callaghan, Shalako, The Man from... Sh Gibberine, The High Graders, Kilo, Chansey, The Skyliners, The First Fast Draw, Showdown at Yellow Butt, or Butte, which one is it? The Rider at Law of Lost Creek, Hanging Woman Creek, The Ferguson Rifle, The Man Called Noon, it got a bonus material of some sort, okay, Galloway, Jubal Sackett, I remember reading this one before, The Son of Wanted Man, and Dutchman's Flat. Now, what I'm going to do is try to figure out if these have some, because I know there's other ones that say uh, the Sackett family. Which one was it? Um, the Sacketts, this one does. Uh, there may be another one. This one right here says a great novel of the Magnificent Sackett family. So what I'm going to do is try to figure out if there's like ones that go together. I don't know what that is on there, but I didn't do it. Um, and then I'll read them in order if possible. I'm going to try to figure that out. They had a lot more, but I just got these. Because I'm going to start reading them, and I may or may not keep them. I don't know. I know I've just get right, got, I'm just getting rid of a bunch of books, which they're still in my house, y'all. I haven't gotten rid of them. They're just not in anywhere else but I know I just got rid of a lot but I wasn't ever going to read those or I wasn't ever going to read them again these are things I'm going to read I've been reading a lot lately in fact I finished one book and I read four more this month and I started another one and let's see how far am I in it I'm a little over halfway through I think I'm like total probably of six books so far this month so I um I, I I just enjoy westerns and stuff, so I got those. Now Daisy's having a fit. D I'll get you in a minute. We haven't been home, so she wants her dry food. She's got food, but she wants more because we haven't given her any dry food today. She's only had her wet food, but she's fine. She still had food. She still does. Let me just stop talking about food. Um, <laughs> I got these for measuring food. <laughs> Y'all know that I'm always like needing another one so i went ahead and grabbed these it's a, it's a one cup a one third cup and a one quarter cup daisy in a minute so i went ahead and grabbed these because they're stainless steel it's not the whole set but it was only a dollar and fifty cent and it's the echo brand i don't know if i can get it to focus there we go so i thought you know that's a good brand i'll grab that and i like that that has the measurements it's making so much noise. I'm so sorry. There. It's got the measurements on the side. It's on the outside, too. Why don't I just do it that way? Anyway, there's that. Let me give Daisy some food, and then I'll talk to you again. Okay. She still had half a bowl of food. Uh, but uh, the reason why I'm only doing the grocery haul today, like I said, I was not cooking supper. I'm just going to do salads, and I'm not going to share that because it's not that big of a deal. And, um... We got up early because Jeff's starting a new shift Monday, and we're going to be having to get up earlier and go into bed earlier. So we're trying to get ourselves started on that today. So we did get up earlier, so most likely we're going to go to bed earlier. So I want to have this filmed 
and edited earlier. Now, I'm not going to do that every day. Plus, also, tomorrow we're going to the zoo because his job gave us free tickets. I don't know what I'm going to share tomorrow. It's raining now. I don't know how that's going to go. I just saw the mail carrier go by, and I know I'm supposed to get mail. Y'all, the mail is wacko, really. But anyway, um, that's the reason why you're just getting this today. And yesterday's video was pretty long. Plus, you're also getting the planner video if you like to watch those. Um, so, it's not like you're not getting anything from me today. I am sharing a little bit of a grocery haul and a little bit of my crazy, hot, sweaty face. It's hot and muggy outside. It's gross. And I really want to just go take a shower, put on some pajamas, and just do nothing. Just sit and maybe watch a movie with Jeff or play cards or something like that. Because... Like I said, we're trying to get on a different schedule. So, it's, you know, not going to happen all the time. But, you got a grocery haul. you got a thrift store haul. And, you got my crazy. <laughs> you got your crazy for the day. But, <laughs> anyway, um, I guess that's all I have. Because, like I said, I don't have anything else. Uh, we may go ahead real quick before it starts raining a lot and fertilize the garden. I don't know if Jeff would want to or not because if you fertilize it before it rains, I think it like will melt it into it. Or maybe you need to do it when it's not raining. I don't know which one. But I'm thinking that you need to do it and then wet it anyway. So it would be a great time. We wouldn't have to water the garden because our garden does need some help. I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> because... It doesn't look fabulous. We have lost some plants to animals. We always do. We always plant extra. We've lost some plants to squirrels and stuff. And I guess birds and some, a couple just died. But that's okay too. That happens. It's normal whenever you plant a garden. But anyway, my arm is getting tired from holding this. I should have just gotten my um, little tripod, the handle. And I'm shaking y'all, I'm sorry. But, it, it was a fun day. We had a lot of fun. We got up this morning. I was up at like 5.30 and ended up, well, I was awake at like 5.30. We ended up getting up and out of the house by 7.30 or so. So, we just went yard selling and thrift store shopping and we went to one flea market and it was not that great. It's nothing like what it used to be. And we just went and had some fun together to, and something that didn't have to be working or thinking and doing all that stuff. It was just some enjoyable time together. We all need that. And then we went to Walmart, which was not that great, but it wasn't terrible either. We may go ahead and do our fishing line. I don't know. Um, Jeff's got to work next Saturday, so we wouldn't be able to go fishing then, but sometime soon, hopefully, we'll get to go fishing, and I'll take y'all with me. I hope. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but anyway, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't like it, then do them anyway. You never know. You might like something I do later, but most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing, and remember, don't take any wooden nickels, and be sweet.